Okay, so there's the transmit app. Um, it's too bad that it's already connected. So remove this server. Yes. Okay, so this is how the the, the, the the app looks when you get into it, when you download it. Um, you see that you can add a new server. You can uh, look at the about box. Um, there's now only the Hive information, but please do contribute and I'll make this something more generic. Um, and it has information on the version number and uh, where you can find it. So that's cool. Um, so let's add a server first. Um, there is a public demo server provided. You just have to click on the example there. Um, remember that you need to log in with user user, as it says here. So I just clicked on there and it pre-fills this information. Normally, of course, you would put your own information here. You give it a nice label to describe so you remember which server is which. And then we connect to the server. So now you're being redirected for the OAuth protocol. Um, oh, I'm logged in already, but normally you would log in here with user user. And um, you get a question whether you want to allow the Android client to basically act as you in, in the database. Um, so um, you want to authorize it to allow it to access your data. And then it sends you back to the application, which is quite interesting. So um, the way we do that is re referring to a, in, instead of like an HTTP URL, you refer back to in Transmart. The, uh, dot dot slash slash uh, URL and the app is programmed to to pick up that URL. So you come back into the in the app, and now you see that I'm connected to the Hive demo server. I see all the studies which are available in here. It's quite a bit of uh, studies. These are uh, all the public studies that, that are available uh, from the Transmart uh, repositories. And then um, so this is basically the exploration of all the studies in there. You see the study name and you see the study ID. Um, I'd love to give some more, um, give some more details on there later. But um, and then you can click on a study, like this uh, famous GSE, the the lung um, a CUPD study, I think from from Geo, and it will give you just as the regular Transmart does the summary statistics on age, sex, and race when it's available. And these are interactive graphs, so you can uh, you can zoom in on them if you can't read it clearly. Um, and you can make some selections. Eventually, we probably want to make some uh, interactive cohort selection in here. And um, same with these things. It's, uh, you can uh, select females or males, etc. So that's, um, that's the main thing was there. And then, um, <laughs> thanks. Um, yeah, look at the, the beautiful details, by the way. You see, the, if you click on a study, look at the, the navigation on the top here. Um, how it turns into this uh, nice arrow. I really like that. So that's material design stuff. And then uh, we can add more servers. For example, I could add the trade server here, which is a HTTPS server. So help me when I'm typing this wrong. Uh, okay. Transmart.ctmm dash trade dot nl. Uh, CT, thanks. That's why we're a team here. Um, oh, um. And of course, we need to put slash transport in there because that's the real URL where transport is. So, again, we connect. Oh, I'm still logged in here too. That's what you get when you rehearse something. Um, so, we're connecting to trade. Look, and I can see all the public trade studies in here. Um, Jochem, remind me what one is the, the, the one which is cleared for demoing? Uh, the trade cell line. Trade cell line. Ah, that should always work. So trade cell line might take a while in here. Oh, yeah. Look. So there's male, female, no information. Now you see that I have connected uh, multiple studies here, and I can just switch between the servers and see which uh, studies are available there. OK, so that, I guess, concludes our live demo. Um, Where's the presentation? No, that's my email. Where did my presentation go? Just gone. Uh, okay. Okay, let me get it back for a moment.
Let me disconnect for a moment, otherwise you see all my documents and stuff. If you happen to have any questions, now would be a fine time. Recent. There it is. Great question. I think uh, you don't know my slides, but um, that is uh, it's coming up. I'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, where were we? Here's Raymond. Yeah, so um, this we all covered in the demo federation. You can connect to multiple servers. Okay, so one of the things I would like to show is um, that we recently integrated with Firebase, um, and uh, which is something which is really nice to have. It's something also that's not available in the regular transport, but you can see how many people are actually using the the, the tool. So there's first of all there's the Play Market. You have to publish your app in the in the Play Market. So there's the transport app, <coughs> and here we can see how many people are using it. Um, this. Uh, it's not really impressive yet. Um, and you can also see in here uh, which crashes are reported. Uh, if you are f f familiar with Transmart, you might have seen that if you get a crash, you can report it to the, to the, back to the developer. Um, but um, you only see the crashes here when people actually report those uh, crashes, which of course no one does because you just want to get on with your, with your work. So um, Firebase is a tool from Google uh, it's basically a competitor to something that Twitter has, um, which is Crashlytics, um, which both does analytics. Um, so, uh, look, we have some analytics here. Well, this looks a lot better. You see that people clearly installed it uh, in the last few days because I have been, uh, been bugging people and putting it online. Um, so you have some better uh, analytics here of the actual uptake of the app and how many people are actually actively using it, not just how many people have installed it. Um, and what is also really cool is that it crash reporting, does crash reporting uh, even when uh, people don't report the crash uh, themselves. You see that here was uh, at some point uh, were a few crashes that were not and it didn't end up in the in the in the market, but did end up in my uh, in, in in Firebase. So that's really useful. Otherwise, I don't know why people are uninstalling the app. And the last thing, um, which is really nice, if you integrate it here. Um, you get automatically the option to send push notifications to people. Um, so um, I can try this right now. So um, here, thanks for attending my talk. And um, this will be really weird for people who are not here, but um, segments, uh, target app. Yes, now please. No, that's optional. App. Oh yeah, this app. Thanks. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. So, I don't know about you. Um, but uh, you should get a notification in a few moments. Oh, it's planned now. Okay, we'll see when it happens. Hopefully during the talk. Um, so that's Firebase, which recently integrated. Another cool thing, um, I put the, uh, all the strings, all the text, which is in the app, I put it on a website, which is Crowdin, um, just so people can translate it. It's now, uh, it was developed in English, um, but I made a Dutch translation, but apparently there are random people on the internet who translate random apps, um, which, is, which is quite amazing. Um, yeah, so now uh, somehow I got for free a Russian translation um, the Polish translation, I don't think you did that, Piotr. No. no. Um, I might get you to verify this, by the way. Uh, you probably want to verify what people on the internet are translating your app into. Um, uh, Japanese also came for free. I think Ruslan did the Ukrainian, right? Yeah, so. And Ruslan also checked the Russian for me. And then Turkish, someone just gave a few Turkish translations. So this is a great thing, I guess, again, from open source that people just randomly like to work on nice projects and like to help other people out. So, pretty cool. So the graph library I'm using is this uh, MP Android chart. 
it's uh, also open source available on GitHub, Apache V2 license, which is nice for libraries that you want to include. Um, and then I come to the future future plans. Um, oh wait, I should probably get back to presentation mode. Um, so of course, only thing you see now is age, sex, and race in the in the survey statistics. <laughs> probably one more than that. Um, so the first thing to add up was uh, would be to uh, a way to add extra variables, and I'll come back to that in a in a moment. Um, the glowing bear UI, as you will see tomorrow, has an option to combine multiple graphs into a combined graph, like a scatter plot or like a, a box plot, which is something I would love to implement here. Um, the, in, the library has uh, quite some other um, other uh, plots available. So there's box plots, there's scatter plots. And for time series, time series coming up with 1701, um, I'd love to implement a nice time series visualization. Um, there's no card selection yet, so that would be nice to implement, and high dimensional data is also not in there yet. So it's clearly a proof of concept. I'd love to get people involved and and, and do more of this. So for uh, adding new variables to the uh, to the summer statistics, um, there's this nice uh, other library out there, uh, a nice tree library, which is beautifully interactive. So you can select a few concepts here. You can imagine your transport tree here. Select a few concepts to add to the summer statistics, like you would drag, normally drag and drop those in. Um, so something like this, or maybe some checkboxes, and then say, okay, add these to my to my graph. And then finally, my uh, my uh, my pitch to you: um, I need help on all fronts. Um, first of all, just install it, give some feedback. There is my email address, but there is also the development at thehive.nl where you can report uh, crashes and stuff. Um, you can make your server ready to connect with. Um, maybe your users like it, and um, you can help me develop. Both information is on GitHub, uh, so please go there. And if you're really enthusiastic, you think, wow, we really need this in our institute, then come talk to me. We'll create a nice product out of And if I get enough contributions, of course, I'll change this. I promise to change this to, to instead of developed by the Hive, developed by the beautiful transport community. So I hope I can do that soon. So, thank you. Yes.